Hello, nerds. Welcome to the Geek Beast, part of the Geekish Network. This is your daily rundown of geek news from geeks like you. If you're new to the show, what we do is we cover the geek news beat and we share our opinions with you. And we hope that you share your opinions with us down there in the chat. Duddy says investing in Legos will earn you more money than gold. So economists from a higher school of economics in Russia have found that the market prices of retired Lego sets sold on the secondary market grow by at least 11% annually, which is high higher than the average returns provided by gold, large stocks, bonds, and alternative investments. Yeah. So, Centel, did you wind up buying the AT-80? Yeah. Take a picture from his little college. <laughs> Bad move there. Why? I think you should buy it now. <laughs> All right, so, so for some oh, other no. metrics, okay, so they were tracking uh, prices of 2,322 unopened Lego sets that were released from 1987 to 2015, looking mm -hmm. at information about primary sales and online auction transactions. And generally, you start to see the increases come up uh, uh, after two or three years after the set has been retired. So that means they are no longer selling it on the shelves. So mm -hmm. the goal and is to buy as many Lego for, sets as possible. <laughs> the ones to look out for are small or very big sets. So like the Ultimate Collector series, like a lot of those mega huge Star Wars ones. Uh, those are the ones to look at. Oh, FYI, yeah. Legos, we, we said it here on the cast, uh, Legos increase in value. <laughs> Yeah, you've been saying it for a long time, so it's just cool that you finally got a website that can back up your findings now. So it's officially that now, you know. Congratulations, yeah. man. And we want to underline it's not every set. It's not every set, but if you know it's a collectible that you want, it's probably going to be one of the sets that climbs in value. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. I have to buy the roller coaster set. I haven't bought it. Mm. I've been, I've been like, I don't need it. I don't need it. All right. Uh, let me get back to what would have been a regular intro. Thank you for joining us on the show today and dodging all the Spider-Man spoilers. Watch out there on the internet. Uh, we are not going to be talking about Spider-Man yet. <laughs> Look for that. Potentially next week, we got an announcement coming up about the schedule where uh, we'll, we'll be taking the Christmas break off, but there's a potential that there might be spider talk later. But speaking of multiverses, Michelle Yeoh, a legendary Hong Kong actress, not just in the action movies, but also in dramas, is pulling a Jet Li's The One and doing her own multiverse hopping in A24's uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And so the story, or this is from the duo that put out Swiss Army Man. Did either of y'all see that? I yes, wanted I to, did. but I haven't seen it. No, yes, I, did. I have not, not seen it. that. So this is not seen where yeah. um, Harry Potter, mm -hmm. Daniel Radcliffe is a zombie and he farts, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yes. Like that's the yes. that's the top line of it. Yes, that's he's how a you sell that. Yeah, he's a zombie and the guy uses him as a Swiss Army knife. All right. So in this story uh, okay. of Michelle Yeoh, <laughs> um, she stars in as exhausted Chinese American woman who can't seem to finish her taxes. And uh, uh, during a uh, discussion with Jamie Lee Curtis as a tax accountant, she's pushed on her chair and then after it stops, you see that her face is fractured and she seems to have multiple identities going on. And what happened is that she has cracked into the multiverse. So she's greeted there by her alternate universe husband who breaks the fourth wall and tells her that she must stop a great evil that is spreading through every parallel universe. Uh, and uh, I guess sort of similar to the one here, uh, her character is able to tap into the memories and abilities of the other alternate world versions. So mm -hmm. some of these characters include uh, fighters, uh, a sign spinner on street corner, a professional chef, and use those abilities to uh, fulfill the world saving mission. Uh, this hits March 25th. Y'all were able to watch the trailer, right? What did y'all think yes. about this? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead first. No, okay. Well, well first off, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Michelle Yeoh to, to, to begin with so it doesn't matter what she makes I'm, I'm gonna check it out mm -hmm. but when I got a chance to see this trailer it's cool enough that it's gonna it's gonna be multi-universal but it, it did have this feel and I think you may have said this in the mm -hmm. in the post chat it had a feel of like a eternal sunshine of the spotless mind oh yeah I got and, huge Michelle Gondry vibes from this yeah and some of the and some of the the set design and the set builds that you see are just very different and watching her get a chance as an actress to watch 
watch her flex all these different variations of all these different characters is about to be like gumbo for us. We're going to oh, yeah. get a mix of everything oh, yeah. in the whole. In it's uh, it's comedic. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. And comedy got, and action and violence. Well, action yeah. and violence. <laughs> but, and, and and the cool thing about when you when you have these kind of films and you're breaking like the fourth wall, yeah. uh, you know, all bets are off. So that means anything can happen. And you've seen like some like, but she had like these big gummy fingers in one and mm. others like these regal gowns and there other like things. An There's like a version that raccoon by. or something. Yeah. So I, I like stuff like that because as everybody gets to flex, everybody mm, yeah. from, from yeah. the writer to the director to the actors and all of that. And it's an A24 film. So this is like high budget art. Yeah, it's high budget art. That's what has me excited. I was like, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. 